What I like about decluttering is that when I'm done with the space, it doesn't occupy space in my head. Yeah. So this is such a relief. At first, it uh, I thought that it is very difficult. We <laughs> you didn't believe it. it. <laughs> and uh, even if we make it, I thought that won't really change the, my um, state of being. Yeah. But it this really is a big relief. I don't think about this and I can focus on something else and on other parts of my house yeah. or on doing something else. That's really great. You're so much happier now. Yeah, I, <laughs> I can already That's tell. Sure. Thank you, April. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, right now she's over there playing. She's probably going to start meowing soon and my washing machine's going and just wait till we're in a studio apartment and we can't really avoid those noises. I'm sorry. I'm just sitting at my kitchen table recording this. We're all just real people doing real makeovers, right? Brings me to my special announcement. I have so many makeovers that we need to catch up. So next month, we're actually going to do three days a week. So every Sunday, there's going to be a bonus video for the month of March. But I don't have a lot of projects to spotlight. So do some things around your house this weekend and tag me at the suitcase designer on Instagram. We are back today with my friend Daria, who is a mom of two, who is in desperate need of getting her house organized. And we are finally tackling her front entryway closet. And I think this episode is really interesting because what do you do with all this stuff whenever you don't have a garage? If you're an American, you probably have a garage to throw your stuff into, but not if you live in the city or if you live on the other side of the world, we don't have that. So if you have camping gear, strollers, all of those things you have to put somewhere and usually that's in your entryway here in Korea. Aria's entryway was bursting with many things as you walked into the door. She didn't have a place to put her stroller so it was just in the entryway. So we're going to do our best today to organize this space, not in a way that's just beautiful to look at. It's not going to be an Instagrammable experience. This is going to be a very practical, what you do with all of your stuff when you don't have a garage type of makeover, and we're going to make it work. And our goal is to clean up the space so that she can park her stroller in her storage room and then close the doors and then still be able to access her shoe closets, which is what I can't access right now because everything's in the way. So our goal is to open up the space so she can really use it when she walks in. We're going to start with her shoe cabinet because we think it will be the quickest thing to go through. So we're going to declutter as we go and get rid of shoes that her kids aren't wearing anymore or that her husband aren't wearing. I said this before, but I really like starting with smaller projects in the beginning just so I can get that really quick victory and it encourages me to keep going, especially when I'm working with a big project. Um. So what is that? <laughs> what is yeah, that? We are very equipped for every situation that can ever happen. <laughs> Did you get that whenever the North Korea thing was go really going strong? No, this is for coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> Whose is that? Your husband? That's my husband. He has plenty of stuff that Oh, from work? Helps us keep us safe. <laughs> and if there's a nuclear attack, yeah. you're good. <laughs> Please come to us. Although we have just one of them. <laughs> oh, so we all, we can all share. Only one can survive. So this is the mess we're making as we go. And then we do have one giveaway pile right here by the door. I love asking Daria about Russian culture. In Russia, do you wear shoes inside? No, we never wear shoes because that's um, not very safe, I think. so. And also in Russia, we have a lot of snow, a lot of dust, <laughs> yeah. a lot of dirt on our um, food. So that would be a disaster in a house yeah what we do is we just uh, put our shoes in front of the front door but we don't have this big uh, shelves for food for for footwear for shoes and uh what i like in korean houses is that they have a lower yeah right uh, here floor for this area to keep all of the dirt here yeah, i think this is really convenient I like oh, it a lot. it's so nice to have these it really stops all the dirt coming back uh in your apartment what would you say if i told you americans always wear their shoes inside or rarely take off their shoes i knew that from the movies <laughs> and every time i see someone lying on the bed 
Oh, with their shoes in on the, and so bro. Yeah, that in their sneakers. So that's that. Yeah, I I couldn't let. It's so nasty. My guests do that any. Never, never. Every time I see Instagrammers with their shoes off laying in bed or their shoes on the countertop in the bathroom, it just makes me cringe a little bit. It's let's so change that. Let's, yeah. let's We're gonna be change the it trend now. makers, right? Yeah. <laughs> no shoes inside anymore. It's so nasty. So now we're trying to just organize these in a way that makes sense for their family. We're putting the shoes that they rarely wear up high, and we are going to change this later. So this is just kind of trying one thing out, and as we go, we discover that something else might work better, and we're going to change it. So while you're organizing, if something doesn't work out the first time, honestly, who gives a fuck? Just try again. I like to experiment and have fun. Look, I'm having so much fun right now. See? We're just moving shoe cabinets around. Just have fun with it, and it's most important to just do what works for you, so trial and error. So now what we're trying to do is instead of we swapped out all the shoes up top, now we thought let's put some of their inline skates and their rain boots that they don't need until monsoon season and then work our way down from there. So we're putting all of the high, on the higher shelves, we're putting their shoes these belong obviously to the big feeds in the family. So those are going up high where the little boys can't reach them. And then we'll put the kids' shoes down lower. What I'm trying to show you here is that we didn't have any of the stackable shoe racks at the moment. We're just trying to use what we have, but it worked out just fine like this. And we organized it so well that we had that empty shelf left over. But moving on to the next one, this is where they have like grab and go items. Dari's going to clean the entryway before we start, so I'll just ramble on. This is where they put their coats or balls or gloves, mask, anything they need right as they're leaving the door. So we're starting by taking everything out of her closet, and then slowly we're going to organize all of this, take out what doesn't need to be in this front closet, and put back in a manner that's thoughtful to the natural flow of their family we put it back in its space i'll never forget the commenter who told me that i needed to stop doing makeovers because i made people's homes look worse when i showed these piles of the destruction this is just part of the process it's going to look like a tornado hit your house and that's okay it's normal you're just going to work slowly through all of it so we're trying different things seeing if these green baskets will fit in the closet and we ended up not liking those here. We had some white ones, existing baskets she already had that we're going to try and use. So we're filling these and kind of categorizing them by maybe they want to go outside and jump rope. So we have those in a bucket. Maybe they want to go outside and catch dragonflies. So we have that in a bucket or they want to play in sand. Mama knows best, so I'm just following her lead. Right now we're going through all of her stuff and we're just trying to group it into similar categories just because it kind of helps us have a place to start when it feels really overwhelming. So we're finding her different scarves and mittens and trying to group those together and sunglasses. And once you start grouping your chaos into categories, you can really take stock of what you have and discover if you're missing a glove or you're missing a sock because you actually know where to find that stuff. This is what we've been able to declutter from these shelves, which is amazing. And I'm going to show you the final product of that later because we are quickly moving on to this big closet where we are pulling out everything in the closet because it makes a big mess, but you need a blank slate to work with. And like I said, when you don't have a garage, when you're living in an apartment, all of that stuff goes into this this closet so we have an emergency preparedness kit we have these weird pinchers we have sleds and this thing i think that's for scooter parking and especially in korea we have day camping stuff which is a big thing here um, so we, you'll see a lot of that in a minute and the big rubbermaid containers in the back are what her husband asked us to keep so we will keep those we're finished look at this room we really cleaned a lot of space out <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It's so clean. It's, I feel like it's really minimal. Yeah, like we we're, we're done. Yeah, Everything that we got a lot perfect. of extra shelving space. <laughs> oh, well, the only way to get out of here is to put stuff back in. So, okay. At this point, Dari and I were both very overwhelmed with everything, and we just started with one piece at a time. Rather than looking at how everything was going to work, we just focused on one thing at the time so we tried to grab the bigger items and our goal is to work these together 
as if they were a puzzle. Got some progress here. Progress. Oh, how's that workout? <laughs> it is a workout, really. Yeah, right? Yeah. It's such a workout. The goal isn't to make it look pretty, it's just to make it fit. Uh, <laughs> is he stop? Everybody's gonna comment about you. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have chairs. We're getting better. This is all to go. So we have this. I think we're still going to end up with some extra space. And we just want this to be empty so that we can park the stroller. But it's looking so much better. It's definitely not pretty, but look, it's fitting. And that is what is important. It all has a home, and now she knows where it is. Camping equipment, right? <laughs> yeah, I think we're good on the camping zone. Everything is inside here. <laughs> like, if you're going camping, you're really going camping. She and I were joking that there's no way she's going to be able to pull out just one tent. If they were going camping, they have to pull it all out. And she was like, that's fine. That's how it always is anyway. She would much rather have stroller parking than have it look pretty. But we've got everything to fit. And now we even made two empty shelves because I am the space maker. Okay, this is the moment. We've got it all. It's just very practical. And even this is just for groceries right now. So that will go later. You have extra space. <laughs> All right. Shall we try the stroller? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's see. We'll try and put the fire extinguisher in here if we can. She's going to use this for scooter parking. Scooter parking. Grab your scooter, grab your helmet, and head out. Will it fit? Beep, beep. Oh, the backpack. Okay. Well, we can move this up. That's no problem stroller didn't fit it's okay we are going to make the stroller fit that's the only thing that matters with this entire closet so we're just shuffling again and it still doesn't work remove box again and now is it gonna fit oh my gosh look it's like it was made to be meant to be that's what it means <laughs> ah it fits this was such a good moment and honestly Daria's mood shifted so much the minute the stroller fit in there and the door shut. She just turned into this like the most cheerful person I've ever seen. Ah. Except for this camping thing. <laughs> it doesn't look very cluttered. That's our fault that we have too much stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It all fits now. That's good. I yeah. Like it. Oh, and the most important thing is, the stroller goes in. yeah, when I first got here, the stroller was right here and you could hardly get in the door. And now you have space to get ready and go. Yeah, but the <sighs> only thing... Oh, we have the scooter. Yeah. Too many wheels. I think the biggest change for Daria's home with this makeover was not the inside of the closets, but it was because we were able to get everything inside her closet. Now she has this whole entryway that's empty and she can actually walk through the door without it being too congested that's never a good feeling when you walk in your door and there's so many things that you're stumbling over but now she has a space where she can send her kids if they need to get their coats before school or umbrellas she knows what closet that is and if they need shoes Everybody knows, look in the shoe closet and you have your specific shelf with the kids being on the bottom and adults being up top. We're still working on getting the proper boxes and like boot stuffers for the top and some things are kind of double layered here, which actually we have a whole empty shelf, so obviously we could move those down. But she has all this extra space to even grow into later and just by taking time to declutter and thoughtfully put her shoes away, we made so much more space. Aria really doubted that we would be able to pull this off. She didn't believe it, and her reaction at the end was priceless, and it made me just so happy that I was able to help her achieve this in her home. What I like about decluttering is that when I'm done with the space, it doesn't occupy space in my head. Yeah. So this is such a relief. At first, it, uh, I thought that it is very difficult. We're you didn't believe it. it. And uh, <laughs> even if we make it, I thought that won't really change the, my um, state of being. Yeah. But it, this really is a big relief. I don't think about this and I can focus on something else and on other parts of my house yeah. or I'm doing something else. That's really great. You're so much happier now. Yeah, I, <laughs> I can already That's tell. Sure. Thank you, Ingrid. Yeah.